Seems strange to write a song about someone Looking in the way of you, dreaming about the lone sun I'm not really thinking about the waves, about the next one Not really about that, you did never like that You know what it feel to me, it's all the truth now I'm not really sure how, I love you and that's why I'm learning so much about love So hello, good morning. It is 9.20 a.m. I woke up at half six. So it's been three hours. I don't know how, but it's been a really, really nice morning. And I feel like I needed that like slow start of the day because today is just going to be so busy. So today's actually a Sunday. So it's not even like a school day. But the thing is, because we're doing online learning, we basically get to decide what we do what day because we don't really have a lot of like online live lectures. So if you are new to my channel, I am currently living in London, studying computer science in King's College. London so that is what I'm doing right now So ever since university started, I've been at home studying all the time because all of my classes are online. And as well as that, I'm a YouTuber, so I have to be on my computer all the time. So I recently started using this HP Spectre X360 and it's the 13 inch one and it is so beautiful and comfortable to use. Also, can I just say as a computer science student who has to code quite a lot and a YouTuber who has to edit their videos, the processor of this computer is like beautiful. So the HP Spectre X360 has an Intel Core i7 processor which is incredibly fast so for example I can work with like 20 tabs open at a time and the computer will still run really really well also I can edit on the computer I can game I can stream I can do anything and the processor will enable the computer to work really quickly no matter how much I'm doing on the computer also something that I want to mention that is extremely cool is this computer has a webcam kill switch basically the webcam kill switch replaces the need to like cover your webcam with like a sticker or anything else because essentially what it does is it completely shuts off the power that goes to the webcam so you don't need to try cover up your camera because you can literally turn the power off in that section of your computer so also can I just mention that this computer is also a tablet so for me this tablet feature is perfect because I have some modules where I prefer to type up notes and then I have some maths modules where I just can't type them up like I have to like write it out because it's like maths equations so this is perfect because I could do all of my work on one device. I don't need like a computer and a tablet. Like it's, I can just do anything here. So basically HP have a back to school offer right now. So if you buy this computer from a retailer like John Lewis, for example, HP will donate 200 pounds to a school or college of your choice to buy computers for the pupils of that college or school. So yeah, that is an incredible offer and it lasts until the 3rd of November. So make sure to check it out. But honestly, I think this is one of the best computers you can fine for a student because it literally has everything you might need thank you hp and intel for sponsoring this video let's start studying because it's 10 a.m and i haven't started so i made a rough plan of tasks that i have to do today so as you can see i wrote all my tasks here and here i kind of wrote the times for kind of like what i'm gonna do when so i'm gonna quickly like put these times into these slots so that these tasks are ordered in order of like the time that i put here
so I'm really torn whether I want to make another coffee because I'm just getting so tired and I don't know why I mean I know why it's because since I came to uni like my sleeping schedule has been all over the place so a couple of days ago I went to sleep at like 5 30 a.m. two days in a row and then I'm recovering from that I went to sleep at like 12 yesterday so going to sleep at 5 and then going to sleep at 12 like it's a big difference but I'm really gonna be focusing on getting like good sleep from now on because you know it was like the first couple of weeks of uni and we had like freshers we didn't really have freshers because of covid but but i am really tired right now because obviously i can't fix it in a day like it takes about like a couple of weeks maybe even a month to properly fix basically the module i'm doing is called foundations of computing and we're doing logic which i didn't even know there was anything to learn in logic like when you tell me the word logic i think just like does it make sense or does it not make sense like that's all that word means to me and this is just like a whole oh my god it's like almost 50 slides it's probably like two hours of lectures based on like all these things to do with logic and i understand all of it but it is taking a lot of my brain capacity like a lot so i'm like should i go make coffee i don't know So I keep changing tops, I don't know why because the temperature keeps changing But basically I needed a little break again because it was like an hour and a half that I was studying for in a row So I was just like I need 10 minutes So I practiced the cheerleading dance that I'm gonna have to do at the tryouts today I've literally been doing the same module today Like it's all about logic and theorems and proofs and like I don't know I feel like I'm gonna be doing this module for the next two hours which is fine So yeah I spent this whole time on my computer and actually I've been using my computer all morning And now was like the first time that I had to charge a little bit but it wasn't even like running out of battery it was only like 50% like battery life amazing Okay, so I went to the kitchen, had some food, talked to my flatmates, and I have decided that I'm gonna have a power nap because I have to leave my house in about an hour and I still wanna get some work done, but I wanna have energy for the tryouts, so I don't think a third coffee right now is a good idea. I will have a third coffee later. Do not recommend it though. Like, two coffees is already enough. Like, I haven't drank coffee in about two months, but it's literally just because today I'm just so tired and there's just so much happening and I have to stay up late today. Like, I think I have to stay up till about like 3 or 4 a.m. editing and I woke up at 6 so you know kind of getting energy all throughout the day it's fine though I'm in a very like good positive mood so it's all good but but I am gonna take a 20 minute nap so I'm gonna put my phone on the other side of the room because I cannot risk not waking up and I'm just gonna sleep for 20 minutes and then whatever time I have left I'm just gonna do work and then we're gonna go cheerleading trials and I'm kind of scared like I keep practicing the dance any moment I get like the dance is literally only like 20 seconds long 30 seconds long so it's really not that hard but I keep practicing practicing the counts Oh my god, I am tired. So I'm gonna give you an update as I'm changing because oh my god, it's just like everything hurts. But basically, it was not dance tryouts today. They did tell us to learn the dance by today, but it was not dance tryouts, it was jumping tryouts, which oh my god. I kind of like like jumping like I think if I got better at it if I practice I really would like jumping but I'm not used to jumping at all like I'm just not like a jump cardio person like I hated jumping I'm kind of like liking it now because I know that I have to do it but we honestly basically jumped for two hours straight but I'm gonna change I'm gonna make myself some dinner and then I'm gonna do some more work I'm probably gonna work in the kitchen now though because I need a little bit of a change of environment and atmosphere so I'm extremely tired like my quads are gonna be gone tomorrow also I'm considering right now i don't know if i want to get a gym membership because when you're doing cheerleading not every muscle gets really strong like i think your quads your core your calves i know everything gets stronger but it's mostly i think those i think it's mostly your legs and arms but like i want to train other muscles as well so i want to go gym but i'm like i don't know if that's too much for my body i'm gonna be training i think two or three times a week for cheerleading and then i think i can go gym three days a week and then i can have one rest day so i'm kind of like it kind of works out but i don't know i have a gym like five minutes away from me 
so don't know still trying to decide but yes tomorrow i will rest i will not do anything all i'm gonna do is just like stretch and use this foam roller to like make sure my muscles are not in horrible pain start your Okay, so it is technically the next day because it's 2.30 a.m. And I'm so excited to sleep right now, but I have to wake up in about five hours, but it's fine. So this has been a day in my life as kind of like a fresher so far. Like it's only my second week of university. I'm very behind. I'm not used to this schedule, as you can see. I think once we get like halfway into the semester or term or whatever they call it, I think my routine will be a lot better. My schedule will be a lot better. Right now, I'm kind of a mess. But this is what it's like being a student in London right now from my point of view from my perspective But my room is a complete mess So I'm just gonna like wash my face clean my room stretch out my muscles a little bit because they hurt so much I'm like literally struggling to stand up like I sit down and then I can't get back up because my quads have just like given up on me So I reckon I'll go to sleep at like half three and then I'll try to wake up at like 8 30 So I'll get about five hours of sleep tomorrow I will try my best and I will go to sleep much earlier earlier because i'll actually try to be on top of my work tomorrow but um we'll see how it goes and yeah good night